Hello. I bought some new USBs. So that's what they were. It is it's it's so fucking freezing man. I need to buy myself a portable heater like yesterday. Apparently it's supposed to be like snowing and shit all throughout the next couple of days. Like the next week apparently. I'm gonna fucking kill myself if that ends up happening. We don't <laughs> We didn't need any more cold weather. Like, we're fucking... We're the fucking UK. We get the coldest... We got one of the coldest weathers. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking ridiculous. Most of the time I have my window open slightly. Like my window's open like ajar at the moment. But I don't normally have it open that much. In this this room it's always freezing. So Like it says it's twenty seven in here. Fuck off. It is not twenty seven in here. My hands are blue. Quite literally, on the webcam apparently. Twenty four out thirty eight. We're actually pretty close. We got both golds on them, so we literally can't do anything more on them. Let's go into the prefix bathroom and see what we can do. They are that place that they didn't show up. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm fucking freezing, dude. That one. No, I don't want magic because a strong ass. Does she have a better stamina one, or is it just that one? That one seems to be the best one, okay. And Jinx Stars, does she have the fly up one? Okay, she can have the charge up one. Wait, who was that? What was that, sorry? Nah. Bear in mind, I slightly overclocked my computer just to heat me up a bit more. I t I've turned down the fan a bit, and I've upped the clock speed, and it's still not done anything. Because normally I don't even have my computer overclocked at all. That one's dumb. Magicus Extremos! That one's not too bad. And then Jinx style.
I think I have the two Jinx one. Okay, what were we doing? What are we going to do? Have we got... we got one more mini shield to collect, which I assume is going to be in like one of those... So I assume it's going to be in one of those cauldron things. Was I even able to to go past this way anymore? Oh, that's easy too. I needed three and there's two right there. Of course. I hate these things. You've done nothing, Harry. Why are the controls to this game so shit? I keep pressing B instead of like... So for such a simple shield, you've got to go all the way... Where the fuck did you come from? This isn't your level. Okay. Harry just got rugby... Ron, this is the last thing you need to worry about. That's the last thing you need to worry about right now. Ron's just more worried about his fucking beans. KB! Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, KB, for the host. Much love. Much love. Many thanks. There's a tap. There's a tap. I want a tap. Run away! At least you can't get to either of them, so just run. There's one down. Uh, ah! Beans. That's his last dying word. Beans. Oh, there's there's our last shield. What's up, KB? Oh, rip Harry. Much love, much love, many love. Okay, that should, that should work. I actually meant to do that to try and bring that up here. Bring that block up here, but whatever. Ron, get off it. Ron, you're drunk. Go home. Nice one, Hermione. Ron, do you mind? 
so it was on that and I assume that activated something. Ron, do you fucking mind, bro? Why am I so far in the corner? I didn't even move the stick. Hermione! Hermione! Why is it... What the fuck are you guys doing?! Why are you gangbanging in the corner? Especially without me. Okay, guys, come up here. Hermione. You guys are fucking useless. Yeah. Two people can make up a gangbang. That went straight out of the cauldron. I just ran off the side, whatever. I don't care anymore. Yeah, Ron and Hermione are a gang. Didn't you know? They're, they're, they're a gang. They're called the gangbangers. Come on, come on, Hermione, where are you? There you are. Come on. Isn't that difficult? Apparently it is. Do you know what? Playing this game as a child, I didn't actually think it was that bad. And I actually thought, oh, the AI is quite dependable in this game. No, it fucking isn't. I made the biggest mistake of my life. I was like, yeah, the game's actually, like, the game actually works. Because the AI actually works. After many evaluations. And Ron and Hermione fucking flying. I've come to the conclusion, this game does not work. I was a very naive child, apparently. I was also very, 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 very... Forgiving when it came to games. Apparently I was forgiving when it came to shit games. It is definitely, times have changed a lot when it comes to how forgiving I am for games. Playing through these four, these four in a row. Playing through these four games in a row fucking changed everything for me. Well, that was easy. I'm assuming that's for... There you go. I'm assuming that was for the 10 shields. It's just... The other one gave it to me where I got the 10th shield on Hogwarts Exterior. So I was just wondering why that one put it at spawn. And why it didn't tell me it put it at spawn. But yay, now we're, now we're on to part 3. Or uh, task three. So this is another timed event. It's another timed event. Plays plays as the.
It's straight. It's right in the middle of the maze. That's the dumb thing. So how are you supposed to know when they're even coming up? The answer is you don't. The game... Also, you never use Stupefy in this game. Or Nintendo. But you use Orbis. You can hear everyone else shouting spells and what well, other incantations. All you can hear from Harry is "Yo!" And everyone else is like, "What the fuck is Harry doing? How the fuck?" D Al Junior, thank you for the follow. I'm just gonna call you Al Junior. Sorry. What? Vermiculus, yeah. See, so you can't like you can't even use spells on them. Victor Crumb. This space. That was a very glitchy cutscene. This is one of the worst controlling sections in the game. Left or right, we're going left. I didn't even move into that, I pushed to the left. I didn't do that again. Basically the movement is so sensitive that the slightest push to the left will make it so you veer off course and get hit. Or the slightest push to the right, it's so broken this bit. Also, the bushes are supposed to damage you. I ran through three during that and I never got damaged. Yep. What is even holding him? Oh, hey, I remember this from uh, Goblet of Fire. Nope, Harry, don't even bother. I don't even know what to do there. Splat. 
few. You can't dive out of the way, so that move is stupidly overpowered. So I assume it's just getting it to run into you, run into something, and then just spam it with spells. Harry, run, you fat. I never actually got, like, insulted or slagged off for liking Harry Potter at all. Are you fucking kidding me? This fucking fight is stupid. The timer doesn't even stop. I'm going to restart that one because the timer doesn't even fucking stop. It's fucking stupid. Okay, let's let's make it a, a goal to go through this level as quick as possible. As long as when all your friends play out for Xbox, so you just want to jump off a ledge, a bridge. Um. My problem is I have half my friends playing Xbox, half mine playing PlayStation. So if I'm like, oh, I want to play this game, um, I have to play it on like, well, I have some Xbox games. I have some games on PlayStation and Xbox or PC. So like Black Ops 3, I have on all three. But some games I don't have on PlayStation that I want on PlayStation and some games I don't have on Xbox that I have on PlayStation that I want on Xbox but I don't have on Xbox. Like for example I want wanted Overwatch on PlayStation to begin with but I had it on Xbox. His mouth didn't even move. Say thanks you 
you f fucking prick. For this bit, you may as well just use Axio. I completely forgot about that. Okay, game. Sorry. The only game you can play with us, with uh, Xbox users, is Minecraft. Feels bad, man. Hopefully this is like the final straw, please. I'm not planning on getting it now. That was quicker than the other one though, at least. I think he al he already mentioned about that last time, where he's already got like a PlayStation, doesn't want to play for Xbox Xbox Gold and PlayStation Plus because it's oh for fuck's sake I hate this fucking level because I already play two subscriptions and even that I think is more than enough. Yeah, exactly what I just said. Come on. I've got to shoot you in the in the ass, but that's right where that guy's goop is. Okay, I just crushed between your sex sessions. It's the same with duplicate games though. Like you want a game on Xbox to play with your Xbox mates even though you've already got it on PlayStation. Like what the fuck? Really? I don't fucking care. As long as I get to fucking Voldemort, get this fucking done. This fucking game is almost done, guys. We're so close, guys. If it crashed, I would cry. As long as it saved before it crashed. 
Or would have just said, there, that's the ending, and just gone on to the fifth one, when I could find a copy. Without leaving you a kill, this may have had a go. I was very ex enthusiastic. Don't put. Don't put those two in the same fucking sentence. That was a very weird thing to say to a child, mate. I completely forgot that you might not even be able to hear it, so. He was like, what the fuck is happening to this skeleton? Oh, I will too. <laughs> this camera angle is shit. Just said that, mate. But I could say the same. To, I could say say the same thing to that with PC for me because I'm always I've been a console person like all my life and jump into PC. I'm giving it a chance, but jumping to PC is really foreign to me. I will fucking beat you up. At least there's a quote from the actual film. So the point of this? I don't... So the point of this bit is literally you got to guide it away from Harry because if Voldemort's trying to make it hit Harry you've got to guide the beam to smash the skeletons basically. It's, ve it's very difficult because this bit controls like shit. Probably getting annoyed at constantly telling telling his minions the same shit. The... <laughs> yes, please. So you literally can't destroy. These. You're controlling both Harry and the spell energy with the left stick, which means if you push it to the left, you move the spell energy to the left, and then Harry, which means that he walks into the spell. Actually, she can. She does. Spoiler alert. See? It's fucking retarded. The controls to this game are fucking ridiculous left stick to use us to charge like move the spell energy but it's also left stick left stick to move harry throw skeletons so that's going to fucking work that did nothing Shut up! This mission sucks, dick. It sucks the biggest dick. 
big fat gulp. I'm not trying to hide, I'm just trying to fucking take out, take out these super fucking mutant skeletons. I'm not, I'm, you can see me. Why is it, where is that skeleton, where are these skeletons going? Sorry? Let me run. Super Teenage Mutant Skeletons, man. Nah, Max. Yeah. Now move over there quickly. Move Harry into this corner. I pushed down and Harry was moving up. Yeah. Fucking hell, Harry! Move your fucking fat bitch ass. I bow to death every fucking day, mate. This ain't shit. Like, how are you supposed to guide Harry towards stuff like health when you've got this massive fucking beam of... I don't fucking know. Mixture of a school by spell and a killing curse. Can my powers of Axio work? Like, what? That's fucking fair! I can't even get the fucking health pack! Nyeh! 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 What the fuck happened there?! Die in a fiery fucking inferno. I love it when the camera puts me in the bottom fucking left because that's a great fucking choice, isn't it? This game is fucking retarded. This boss is fucking retarded. I, rem I don't remember this shit from the film. Like, you know, during the entire fucking game, we haven't fought a single human. Like, they never fought. Oh, I know I know they weren't in the film or anything, but me in the, until this bit. Let's um, maybe throw in a fucking couple of Death Eaters. Or maybe, like, add some dueling into the game. Nah, there's no fucking humans you fight. You don't even fight Voldemort.
Well, how's it going? How's life? Seems like your skeletons can't do a very good job, can they, mate? You might want to get a bit better at that um, whole mutant thing, yeah? That like, that kind of like supernatural skeleton shit. Might want to get better at it, because I see no skeletons. You're kind of just standing there staring at me. Yeah, this is broken. What the fuck is that skeleton? Hey, Skeletor. You could have just fucking killed me like four times then. Poop. That's what this game is. This game is just a massive pile of fucking shit. Harry, um, gets killed once in the first one, well before you, um, when his parents died, he gets killed once in part two. So no, he only died like twice. He almost dies in the second one, but he uh, he gets saved by Phoenix, who has healing, who who basically cries on him and has his tears have healing properties. Um, the third one, first one, he um, after the fight with Voldemort, he collapses on the ground because of reasons. Fourth one, this one, he doesn't actually die; he just. I also love how port keys are only in this film. No! The phoenix only cried. The phoenix only cried. The only time a phoenix will die, you learn in the second one, is when they are too old and they explode. They, they, um, they explode into fire, which, but they re, they regrow from their ashes. Yes, I'm fucking tired of this fucking jaw. You may as well just fucking kill me and get it over with. Fox is a phoenix, Harry. When phoenixes are old, they... They go up in flames and they re they're regrown from their ashes. Their tears have amazing healing powers. This is roughly what um, Dumbledore says to Harry in the second one. Well, um, it never actually died because in the second one it didn't get killed by the Basilisk. It's used in the fifth one as um, uh, the Ministry try to arrest Dumbledore. But he uses forks to, um, uh, to basically escape. She's like, you'll understand that I will not come quietly. And then um, they go towards him to try and basically arrest him, and he um, operates away with forks. Yo. Yo. 
Yeah. That's when he claps and it go poof. You may not like him, Minister, but you have to agree. Dumbledore's got style. That's exactly what Kingley said to uh Kingsley, sorry, said to uh Dumbledore uh said to Fudge in the fifth one. I assume you're supposed to destroy this. Stay where you are. I assume you're supposed to destroy it because there's no skeletons. And I can't. Harry really must be shit at spells if he is moving around a lot. There you go, did it. <laughs> oh, hey, Cedric, how's it going? <laughs> that was a very broken cutscene. It was broken, wasn't it? And Drew. No matter how convincingly you tell the story of what happened tonight, few will believe. Voldemort has returned, but to tell the story you must. And that was the game. That was a piece of fucking shit. <laughs> Some parts of the game play well, but like the first three, how they got through QA is fucking ridiculous because the AI is crap the graphics the, the the characters glitch out and glitch in you notice a lot of like weird fucking bugs that happened and like <laughs> I understand that like I've never actually seen that one yet character modelling. They they look nothing like they do in the films. The only one that does look like them is Cedric. And Cedric was only in it for like one mission. I can't skip this by the way. I'm actually mashing buttons. Foley. Okay, I've got an idea. I've got a disc of this. There you go, QA. QA testers. Look how many fucking testers they were. It's still going. It's still going. How this game went through testing, looking like this, and playing like this, it's fucking ridiculous. The fact that this was an EA Warner Brothers title as well, it's fucking ridiculous. 
And Renderware as well. And Havoc. The Hippogriff. Like, Buckbeak and all the other Hippogriffs are fucking beautiful. You also want to see another kick in the teeth. So we're in. This is the save. Okay, let's go over to. Uh, so yeah, you got the final mission, but the game's not actually rendered as completed. Because the game doesn't save it after you complete the game. What? So if I'd have left a bunch of cards basically unbought on um, the maze, bought them for that last mission, I know I didn't have enough, but I know I wouldn't be able to use them. But if I bought them and then went back, I wouldn't have them because the game doesn't fucking save the fact that you've completed the game. You've just completed the game and it will revert you back to your safe before you completed it. It's fucking stupid and I fucking hate it. This game is fucking horrible. Out the first one out of ten I would give that one a four or five. The second one I would give that one a four or five. The third one I'd give a four. This one I'd give a fucking three. Well, probably the first two, probably five or six, actually. There's a bit few redeeming factors there. The third one was the worst out of the three. This one is the worst out of the first four, though. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's fucking shitty Goblet of Fire. Um... Let me grab game quickly so now we're gonna play some Quidditch World Cup this game isn't when was Battle of Hogwarts the Battle of Hogwarts was the the Battle of Hogwarts was Part 2. It was literally the final film. So this is actually one of my favourite sports games. As long as it works at least. So this is one of my favourite sports games. It's uh, Harry Potter and the black and white game apparently. Harry Potter and the uh, Quidditch World Cup. Well, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. In this game, you play as... Uh, you can play as the battle... <sighs> yeah, it was okay. You'll have to actually, like, read it or watch the film. Because... They make a massive deal out of it. But then, it's, there's not much. <laughs> there's not much of it. I can't really... Now that you're here... You can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. Once you've chosen your team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows, you might even win it. Over to you, Wood. Right. No. Quidditch is easy enough to understand. I personally don't remember. For the sake of shit, I'm going to be Gryffindor. Just congratulations. Hey, look, it's a number two thousand. So, before you can do a single game against um, any, before basically before you can do any single game, I'm 
Angelina Johnson. And you I are Angelina Johnson. Yeah, before you can um, do any single game in the cup, you have to pass a couple of um, tests, basically tutorials, before you can do it. You want to pass it into the green ones at all time. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your pass. Where the fuck are they? Where the fuck are you? I didn't even pass it over there, but okay game. Sorry? I got two reds because the game 